I'd like to announce the fourth part of our video series of space conditioning. Here in the fourth part I go a little bit closer into the subject of specific frequency. Here I will use the so-called ELF or extremely low frequencies between 0 and 300 Hertz. Um, you have learned in my previous series that the human body is a conductor for ELF waves and can uh, radiate them as well but absorbs them as well. So we have now the concentrator since a couple of weeks now um, connected there is always voltage coming out where energy and main voltage 50 hertz or main voltage is is absorbed it's a very very sensitive device we're going to use an artificially creating frequency where i use an here at darlington and put two volt we're going to use only two volt into a double sandwich um, bipolar Tesla coil to create Tesla waves in that frequency range. So this, this would be very very high spiked um, um, waves created and will be pointed at the concentrator and we are measuring the changes. So as you can see here I have cable connected um, there are small changes when I go just with the cable in here, but at the moment it is not connected to power. If I switch the power on just for this cable, which is here connected, let me do that to show you what happens. We have an increase in voltage instantly. So here we have just a transmission line that is just a blank piece of cable. Traditionally a transmission line phenomena where then the field is radiated at the end and reflected back. That is the standard way of tra tra uh, transmission lines, but here as you can see it has a huge impact because it interferes or let's say the concentrator is harnessing this energy and is concentrating it inside. So my extractor is connected to uh, connected here to bridge rectifier and to the ground and he can pick up this voltage. I want to show you also what I have done now in the meantime because this box does other things as well. It extracts energy but it also radiates energy and because of that it has an impact on every biological organism. So the, the network here or let's say the, the, the cabling, the wiring it goes out into my garden and round plants and I will show you now what happened. So we had we had a tree outside in the front of the garden and this tree was was barely um, alive and we put it back in the garden. The cable is going around the pot and the tree that came back to life with with full with full color, vibrant. And I had another experiment when I used marigold seeds in two different pots put it toge together and again the same phenomena. The cable goes around this pot and I show you now this picture. In this picture you see on the left hand side you see the pot of um, uh, of marigold seeds which are put in in there and they were both separated um, at different locations in my garden. Whereas the big pot and it looks unreal if you compare now the size of them but that <laughs> you can believe me they are both put at the same time in the ground and yes we have a rectifier connected to the ground but it's irrelevant because the energy which are actually then transmitted around um, the space has nothing to do with electric energy that's what I wanted to say the only thing what I'm showing here is an electrical phenomena which we can register but that's only a very small fraction of what this box the concentrator is actually doing it does much much more to it so please join me and observe and watch the video series I created because that's going to be very, very interesting when we're going to then add then the 
ex excitation system, the agitation system, which will be completed in a couple of days as well, which will bring this whole system to a new level. But alone on a con with a concentrator, now running for three, two weeks here in a house in my close environment with a wiring going out, it has already made a huge impact and that can only be better. Please join me, become a member and watch the videos to come.